Hello everyone, my name is Jason Sally, and today I am heading to Piketon, Ohio to visit the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, also known by locals as the A Plant. Today I'm going to be meeting with one of the original whistleblowers who has graciously uh, decided to give me a tour of the facility, so to speak, along the roads that are still open to the public. To get a first-hand look at the plant and the tens and tens of thousands of depleted uranium cylinders that are just out in the open to the elements and what. This facility has a long, long history of radioactive contamination. In 2019, Zons Corner Middle School in Pike County was closed permanently after radioactive contaminants were found within the building. So today, join me on this journey as we head to Piketon, Ohio to learn more about the past, current, and future dangers associated with the site. Today, we are going to get a first-hand look at the atomic plant. In early 1956, this huge plant on a 3,700-acre site was in full operation, months ahead of schedule and hundreds of millions of dollars under estimates, a significant contribution to our national defense program. Few construction projects in history were of this unusual magnitude or so taxed the ingenuity of engineers and contractors. Here, some of the largest buildings in the world were built to separate the tiny atoms of uranium, utilizing a remarkable process to achieve this in mass quantities. One building is so large, you could put three Yankee stadiums inside and still have room for a football field almost 10 million square feet of floor space in the permanent buildings, almost 70 million man hours in construction. steam plant that used to be right in there is where they burnt radioactive um, PCB oil and everything and they put it in the land there and rotated it like a garden. And, and this is where the office buildings were, but they tore them down and put these trailers in them. There's the 720 building. That's the machine shop. They did everything in there. And it was open to the atmosphere. Had motors, paint shop, you name it. They worked on it in that building right there. And it, it, it came up to be one of the contaminated buildings on site. And see where the round thing is there? Yeah. That's the X705 building. Okay. And that's where they did the experiments with the plutonium. But over here, we see all these oil things. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be, I believe it was plutonium that they were finding coming off site. And this is the X-333 building over here. Okay. And there's the guards. Just down.
back of the 333 building and all the switch yards and all that stuff they took down and they they put it put it in junkyards they gave it to people in the junkyard the towers and the switch yards and all that so probably hundreds of tons of radioactive material building material has been yeah, just showed out one to of the them went to the, the junkyard near me on 104. That's that big shuttle carrier i believe went to the junkyard in chillicothe shoemakers <laughs> wow. I have pictures of it somewhere. The, the one with the 78 spill. <laughs> okay, these are... That's the 330 building, and uh, those are office buildings that they brought in. They brought all these office buildings in and tore down the other office buildings because they were contaminated. The women that worked in the offices were getting breast cancer. Wow. And the 326 building is that building they tore down beside the 330 building. Okay. It's, it's supposed to be all gone now. There's at work there and their exposures. They were so contaminated, they had to send them down to Oak Ridge, Tennessee to get their body counts down. Oh, wow. And uh, Mr. Salisbury that worked in there gave me a call and he said, you know, he said, of all the workers on plant site, I thought that I needed to call you and <clears throat> tell you about these because I feel like they should have kept monitoring us and they didn't. Our guide showed us an area where radioactive contaminants had already been buried. In the distance, you can see hills. Those hills are the location of this highly radioactive material that has been placed underground. In the distance is where you can see the current radioactive dump being placed on the site. This is Zahn's Corner Middle School, where in 2019, radioactive contaminants were found inside the building. The students at the school were relocated, and the building was never to be opened again. The position of gaseous diffusion in the atomic energy program, let's look at the sequence of events that produce fissionable materials. First, the procurement of raw materials. From both foreign and domestic sources, the uranium ores are gathered and concentrated. Second, the preparation of feed materials. The concentrates are refined and processed for either of two production methods. One, as a uranium metal in rods and slugs for transmutation into plutonium in the reactors at Hanford or Savannah River. Two, as a gas, Uranium hexafluoride, UF6, from which fissionable uranium-235 is separated by the gaseous diffusion process not only at Portsmouth, but at Oak Ridge and Paducah as well. The third step concerns utilization of fissionable materials for armaments of war or for purposes of peace in science, agriculture, industry, and medicine. Gaseous diffusion through porous barriers is the most efficient method for separating the lighter U-235 isotope from the U-238 isotope of uranium. The actual separation is accomplished by means of a barrier which contains billions of holes, each smaller than two millionths of an inch. The U-235 molecules in the gas, being lighter, move faster and pass through the barrier more quickly. The enriched portion of the gas is then sent successively through other barriers for further concentration. Since uranium contains only one part of U-235 to 140 parts of U-238, 
several thousand such barriers or stages are passed before the required degree of enrichment is achieved. At each stage, the residual gas, depleted in U-235, is also withdrawn and recycled through successively lower stages of barrier. One of the scariest sights at the atomic plant are these depleted uranium cylinders that are sitting there, rusting. Today I got a first-hand view of the atomic plant. We're both past, present, and future dangers exist and are very real. What you're about to see is an image taken from Little Beaver Creek, very close to the atomic plant. The creek has been sampled and radioactive material has been found, including plutonium and neptunium, two very dangerous and highly radioactive elements. What you will see in this following picture is a pipe that comes from the atomic plant. And next to it, in the stream, you can see a bluish green plume emanating from this rusted pipe. The Department of Energy, along with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and various contractors, all want the public to believe that things at the plant are safe. But that's not true. That is a lie. mainly from cancer. Along with dozens of people in the surrounding community. The dangers at the atomic plant are very real. There is off-site contamination as seen at Zahn's Corner Middle School and air sampling throughout the region. There are several air monitors positioned around the plant near homes that have picked up these contaminants. This radioactive contamination does not come from nuclear fallout from 1950s weapons testing in Nevada. This contamination comes directly from the gaseous diffusion plant in Piketon. Time and time again, samples have shown that the threat to the public is very real. And they need to be addressed. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Worker safety is not a priority. Evidenced by the countless number of whistleblowers who've come forward, who themselves are suffering horrific health problems. Now looking into the future, American Centrifuge Facility is beginning to process high assay, low enriched uranium, also known as HALU, that is used for advanced reactors. A company called Oaklo recently got a permit, a site permit, to begin building two nuclear reactors on the site of the gaseous diffusion plant. So not only do we have past contamination, present contamination, but the future looks grim as well. Experts have said that this is just a repeating of the cycle. The community and general public need to be made aware of the dangers lurking in their backyard. Dangers emanating from the Piketon atomic plant. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Stay tuned because there's a lot more to come.
There's thunder on the mountain There's fire on the ground And on somewhere I can hear your voice calling There's thunder on the mountain There's fire on the ground And on somewhere I can hear your voice calling There's day of thunder on the mountain There's fire on the ground And all somewhere I can hear your voice